So, as you probably saw from the title, this is going to be like a to-do list, get shit done video with me. Um, if you don't know, hi, Kayla. Um, I'm typically on Instagram. I am way more active on Instagram and YouTube is just kind of beginning for me. But I post nail videos and then I also post like vloggy style videos. And this one's going to be kind of vloggy style, but it's all about <laughs> nail things. I have a lot to get done. Um, I have a lot of cleanup, a lot of like maintenance stuff to do. And yeah, I just thought it'd be fun for you guys to go along on my to-do list today. I'm trying to get a lot done. I'm a little behind because like I said, I was outside talking to the neighbors for about 45 minutes. So I need to get to it. I have coffee. I have all kinds of stuff. I already have my to-do list. So I will show you guys what we're working with and I will show you my to-do list. I put it all in my Google calendar so that I can see it all at once and see it everywhere and add to it as I need to. But yes, let's just get into all of this stuff I need to get done. Here is my to-do list for the day. Um, I need to post this swatch picture. I'm vlogging my cork to-do right now. And then I already have the a different vlog scheduled to go up, but I need to do the thumbnail and description box for that. I went to the gym, showered, and then, so this is the swatches that we need to do. Um, here, I need to do, I don't know how many of them, one, two, three, like seven swatches. I put in to have lunch because I'm really bad at just like going through and um, not eating lunch. So I'm gonna do lunch and while I have lunch, I'm gonna answer some comments and then I need to label and put up a bunch of new polishes that I got. I've already swatched them on the swatch stick, but I need to update that and put those away. I need to update some things on my Google Drive. I'm going to do my spring swatch wheel and spring polish rack. And then I need to do some captions for pictures I've already taken. I'm going to take a little break later and then I will be vlogging this video once it is done. Er, vlogging. I'll be editing this video once it's done. And then the boyfriend and I have like a little date night later. So right now I need to do the thumbnail and get my nail art posted. And then I will get into doing some swatches. So the first thing I do is go in and put in my title in my description box. I save all of the information in my description box as a Word document and then I just add in any special links that go with the video that I'm posting. And then the next thing that I have to do is make a thumbnail. Typically for my vlogs, I will kind of take screenshots of the video and then push them all into like one kind of collage image and that will make for a thumbnail picture. Sometimes it's really hard to get a face that looks normal. I'm really working on trying to get better face thumbnail screenshots, but it's just not working wonderfully. So then I put all of my pictures into Canva and that is what I use to make my thumbnails. And then the video will be going live. So the thumbnail is done. I also got the description box put in there. And then I went to Instagram and posted my last nail art picture. So all of that is done. And now we're going to move into doing some swatches finally. So for those of you that don't follow my Instagram or just maybe don't know, um, for the first month of every season, I post every day. So the next season coming up is spring and that's March, April, and May. So for March, I will be posting every day. So I have to go through and 
do swatch pictures for every day that month because there's no way that I can paint my nails and take a picture every day and kind of keep up with that. So what I'll do is sit down for maybe an hour or two and knock out five to 10 swatches and that'll be a week. So I can have things prepped and ready and be able to post every day for you guys. So I'll just go through and pull out a bunch of springy colors or colors that I plan to wear in the next few months and I will pre-swatch them or pre-wear them kind of. So that is what I'm gonna do today. This is my light box and I have two little lights on the side and then it just lights up in here and I put my hand in and then crop so you just see the polish. This is my spring background. I just use scrapbook paper. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you guys saw this background for my nail art month. But we are officially in spring background time. I'm so excited about it. I'm really Happy to have a new background. I like to change mine every season or if I'm doing like a specialty month, I'll change it for the month. But yeah, so this is how I take my pictures. Okay, we are on our last swatch. I'm just waiting for it to dry. It's a Zoya Pixie Dust, so I want it to dry a little bit more so that texture comes out. Um, and then I'm gonna break for lunch even though I don't want to I'm just not hungry. I don't know. I'm not I don't usually eat early, but I've been up a while So and I went to the gym, so I should probably eat it is now two o'clock and we are actually right on schedule somehow so I'm going to go through and label some stuff I think what I'm gonna do is just get all this stuff done that I'm gonna like touch and then I'll sit down and do computer things because then I can let my hands dry while I type So I have shown um, making swatch sticks a lot. I typically will do anytime I get a new order or something, I will make my swatch sticks with you guys. So I'm not really going to talk a lot about these. I actually have a whole video making um, like my little swatch sticks from a while back. So you can go and check that out if you would like. Um, I did just want to mention that all of the swatch sticks and the label maker and pretty much everything I use for my nails is linked down below in my Amazon storefront. It is technically an affiliate link. I get a little percentage from Amazon when you guys purchase things off of anything from my list, but everything that I use is linked down below if you're ever curious about that. Okay, everything is labeled here and I have all of my swatch sticks. So I'm going to put 
these on here first because if you haven't ever seen one of my videos, the order of my swatch sticks is the order that is in my Alex 9 drawers. So, like if I have a this green on my swatch stick from China Glaze is in front of this green in the order of my swatch sticks, if that makes sense. Just so I don't know that this is color coded and then so are my drawers. So I'm going to put these on these and then we will get everything put away. I have all of this to put away and then all of those to put away and then I'll have to put that bit away on that right polish rack because that will be spring polishes soon. So let's get to a past season um, and then I bring in a new season typically I'll go through my polishes just because in three months things get crazy I buy stuff I get PR I put stuff back badly just because I'm human so I'm gonna go through and kind of rearrange everything as I'm putting stuff away and then when I pull them out hopefully I can keep it together this season and I won't have to do this at the end but realistically I probably will it's fine so I'm just gonna reorganize all of the drawers and then we will finally get to do some fun things which is pull my spring polishes which I really like doing because it kind of makes it like a little decor piece in my room putting that out on a little polish rack I really can't wait I'm very excited
So I feel like I have an ongoing battle with my PR storage because I never know what I'm getting. So I currently have two drawers in here, which they have space. It's just, I like my stuff a certain way. Um, so I'm just debating if like, I'll go through these drawers down here um, and kind of take some stuff out and make another PR drawer. I also have a rack over there um, with other PR things, but I just don't, I don't love my system right now. So I'm gonna put all this away and see how it's looking. And then um, once we figure out these drawers down here, I'll just decide what I'm doing, I guess. I'm not really sure what to do with it, honestly. So everything is put away in my Alex 9 swatch. Things are done. This is kind of a little bit more organized, I guess. I don't really like having them like this way instead of this way, but I just, this is just going to have to be. And then I'm going to clean this guy and then we will make my 2020 spring swatch wheel. It's crazy. And then this guy... We'll go up here with the rest of my little uh, seasonal swatch wheels. There's spring from last year. I'm so ready for those colors. Uh, so yeah, we'll attach that and then get this one looking a little more springy. I cannot wait, I'm very excited. I typically have more um, seasonal polishes than this, but I've decided for the whole month of April, I'm going to post a pink every day. Um, so I didn't want to pull all of my pinks and just set up a bunch of pinks on my rack. So I just pulled the ones that I'm going to do for March and May, and they will get put away on their cutie little seasonal polish rack right now.
All right, here she is in all her glory, looking beautiful. I love switching this rack out. It just makes me feel so excited, like going from the seasons, and then I have all these like pretty light colors for spring. Freaking love it. Um, we are moving through the list quite well. I need to make the spring polish wheel that usually sits up here. So I have to pick 20 of these polishes to be like my inspiration because obviously there's a few more than 20 here and get those on a polish wheel. So all of these polishes will be talked about in my spring collab video later this month so just keep an eye out for that. Right now I'm just kind of making this with you guys as something to look forward to. We are kind of on track for everything. I don't think I'm gonna have time to do those two drawers because I wanna do my nails um, and do some stuff on the computer and get this video edited. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish cleaning up the room and just pick up kind of all of my mess. And then I'm gonna do my nails and honestly sit in that bed and do some computer work. So I'm getting ready to sit down. This is pretty much the end of this video. The things that we got done are the um, swatches that I needed to do. We also needed to put away and label all the extra swatch sticks and polishes that I had laying out from the week and update my polish rack to be spring because spring is supposed to be coming soon, hopefully. Now I'm gonna sit down and do some captions and some computer work after I paint my nails for the evening. I hope that you guys enjoyed and thank you for kind of cleaning up my room with me and doing my little to-do list. Let me know if you want me to do more of these because there's always something to be put away in this room. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.